Okay, welcome back to uh, part two. Like I said, I didn't realize that this video was getting so long, so I decided to break it into two parts. I don't really want to make super long videos, but uh, I got babbling, and uh, here we are. Okay, so what I've done now is I've got the bay window pretty much done. I did go ahead and get it painted. Um, right now it's just kind of sitting there. And, and one thing I realized, again, I'm no architect, as you'll understand, the slope of the roof is probably a little bit too big, <laughs> or a little bit too steep, because when I put this in here, and I did try to test fit the roof, it's a little bit of interference. Uh, again, it's something I should have looked at. Uh, again, I, I don't really think a lot. I just kind of go <laughs> and then wind up fixing problems. Um, so I'm going to do something with the, to fit the roof in there, which means I probably won't be able to get a gutter across there, which is really unrealistic, but well, we'll see. All right, so I went ahead and got that done. I went with a uh, metal roof. I used some material. Well, in fact, I, let me get the let me pause here. Get the material out that I used for that. Okay, so for the roof, I use this from Builders and Scale. It's their ribbed seam. Kind of looks like a metal roof to me. So I went ahead and just cut a little tiny piece out of that little thin one there. Very carefully cut it and then super glued it on. And then the, the sides are just plain and that's just plain foil. Again, from Builders and Square. Builders in Scale. <laughs> Builders in Square, where'd that come from? Uh, again, it's just you know stuff I had here on the workbench. So that's that. Got that on. Painted it a a darker blue color that I kind of liked, and I just reached for a color, and what I found was this Humbrol enamel uh, number one hundred four. That's the the blue color that I used. Why? I don't know. I like it. Okay. Um, now on the inside, I did go ahead and paint. Probably hard to see, don't have a lot of light in there. But I did paint the bottom and top brown. Again, to kind of simulate the wood that would be in there. And then I got to decide. I did get the glazing in very carefully. A very slow, tedious process. Laid it in there. Again, I'm not sure it's going to work too well. And then uh, just put a drop or so in each of the corners of canopy glue, which is uh, good stuff. Um, I'm sure most folks are very familiar with it, but let me just grab it here just in case. Good stuff for uh, the acetate and window, and it's canopy glue, and it's really used for canopies. Uh, most uh, model airplane builders use this. It's really good stuff. It's uh, basically a white glue. It dries clear, and a lot of folks swear by it. You can also build these kits with it, too. Yeah, it works fine for that, but I use carpenter glue for that. I just used this stuff that I had the tight bond. All right, so the bay window. Um, ready to go. I'll probably touch up the white a little bit. That's ready to go. Got some painting done. I did inside the garage. Just put some details in there. And let me uh, reconfigure here so you can see it better. All right, so I just added a, a bench. A ladder against the sidewall, some kind of box, and then a garbage can. It's really kind of hard to see from this angle. So let me see if I can go this way. Get enough light in there to see that garbage can. <laughs> hard to get light. All right, so it's just a garbage can. And again, you're not going to be able to see a whole lot. I just wanted to give the impression that, you know, you look inside, you see some stuff. Like it, you know, actually is a real garage. And people have some stuff in it, so. And then here on the end, you may have noticed, I also have a spotlight right now. Just kind of hanging there. Uh, I wanted to go with something here. Because what I figured these folks would have here at the end as opposed to individual lights on the garage themselves would be uh, perhaps I really would like to have a light up here you know the lights that most of us tend to have the, the double light 
and it's motion sensitive. Like you buy them at Lowe's and Home Depot and that kind of stuff. That's probably what they would have there. Well, again, an HO scale, you can't always get that kind of stuff. So what this is, is a Wiesman Spotlight, an LED Spotlight. Again, that I had in my bag of tricks. That's the item right there. 6333. It is LED. It is... Uh, they say, I think they said it's like 14 to 16 volts. I tried it at 12. It works fine. Um, so maybe it's a little bit dimmer at 12 volts, but it'll, it'll be okay. So I'm going to have that here, and I just wanted to get it to get the hole drilled for it, get it situated. Then I'll probably put some super glue here, and of course some super glue on the inside. But I want to wait to, like, to glue it in to get the, the lights in the garage, uh, to get them done, and then get the... Um, the floor on in there so I can you know go ahead and get that all covered up and then have these wires ready to be tied into everything else so all right enough babbling there Rob so there's uh, where we are right now and we will uh, continue on the next thing I'm gonna do is get some of the brick done I just got some uh, some stuff printed off uh, the bricks it's going to go on the front here and on the garage. I was waiting for a new ink to come in for my printer to print on this. Uh, this is Epson uh, Premium Luster matte paper. A little heavier. A little better than just plain old inkjet paper. So I had to get new ink because my ink for my printer, since I haven't been doing photography in several years, was dated for 2011. And it wasn't working too good. All right, so let's uh, continue on here and uh, see how far we get. Okay, finally got through getting the uh, brick cut out and glued on. I got it glued on to the what, one thirty-second piece here. I'm just going to say that this is uh, a little bit of trial and error. Took me two of these pieces uh, here for the end for the garage. <laughs> here's my final one. This is number four. Um, here's two mistakes. The one I got so mad I crumpled on it. It's somewhere there on the floor and I threw it. Anyway, um, just use a real sharp knife and take your time. So this is going to be, I'll peel the adhesive cover off, and then this piece will go here, like that. It's not perfect. Like I said, the uh, the corner is not, not ideal. And I kind of messed up a little bit on this corner too, which is hard to see now, but when I get it all together, I'll show I'll show again. I, I'm not claiming to be a master craftsman. I'm just showing you what I'm doing. I'm sure there's a master model rarities out there shaking their heads, but anyway. So let me get this on and then uh, get by these two pieces in here. And then get this and this on, which will include the bay window. And uh, keep plugging away at it here. Okay, got things drying up here a wee bit. Gonna let it uh, sit there for a little bit, get a little break for some dinner. Then I'm gonna put the one on the garage, put that on. I also have the bay window there setting up. You can see I got a flower that I might put in it. And I also found uh, a lamp in my bag of tricks that I painted. I don't know if you'd ever have a brass lamp with a blue light shade, lamp shade, but yeah, whatever. That's what these people have, you know? Hey. So let that dry up. I'm not going to put a whole lot in there. There's not a whole lot of room. And then when things are uh, set, we'll uh, we'll keep moving on here. All right, got the uh, two front pieces there, the siding pieces installed. And if you can see there in the bay window, I added uh, flowers and that lamp. So isn't that gorgeous? So I'm going to let that set up now. I'll stop here for the evening. I have, uh, I did take another one of those nano LEDs and got it uh, painted a little bit and bent up. And then, again, because it has the rectifier on it, what I did was I extended the notch. I'll be able to see it here. The notch here, I extended it. So I can, what I'll do is I'll slip the light down through. And then, when it, once it's through, then I'll glue this piece on. That'll kind of, you know, keep the cap, trap, cap, bleh, trap the light in there. 
And then when that's dried up, and they can form it, and then you know put a little dab of super glue there to hold the light, and then run it to where it's got to go. And I'm also doing this light here, which is going to be for I'm doing the garage. Uh, now I just have some uh, hobby tack setting up. Let me get let me get tacky, and then we'll go ahead and get that. Uh, glued on ready to go so that will be it for the evening and uh, we will uh, continue on tomorrow all right got about to close up the uh, garage here get the floor on so I decided just to add a few more detail items one more bookcase there you know shelf in the back and since we're all rail fans he's got a chessy system and a New York Central system sign that he bought at a train show mounted on the back of the garage and then maybe later on get a vehicle i'll put a vehicle in there at some point in time so all right so that's that i don't know if we'll be able to get a good look inside the garage i just don't know it's gonna be enough light but there's the <laughs> not focusing on it if i zoom in there we go yeah <laughs> So it's got that and that there at the end of the garage. Just so there's, you know, some other things when it's there, the lights. I don't know you're going to be able to see it, but just for fun. All right. And then I got most of the windows ready. So they're on. And then for the front door there, what I did is I did not like the original door. I really didn't. So I went into the... Evans designed the model builder software and they had a door. No, actually, no, I'm sorry. I used the software, but I found this door uh, on the internet. And I brought it, it imported it into the program and then printed it off. I think it looks you know, a, little, a little bit better as a, as a true door. And I think that I think it looks okay. I'm not sure how well it's going to show up with the uh, you know, having a photo door and then having real windows and stuff we'll see and then I'm also going to build a little porch here and some steps and a railing and use the brick around that so I'll, I gotta work on that too so that's uh, coming along there and then just uh, once I get it in I'll get that garage light glued glued in and there's the back so I got all those windows in as well so moving along now this I'll, I'll probably put this in but I'll have to cut it because uh, it won't because of the hill here I'll have to cut it on site cut to fit at assembly all right so we're gonna forge ahead now we're gonna go ahead and start working on the uh, on the interior of this puppy all right so here for the front of the house what I'm gonna do is these are the, the steps that came with the kit I'll probably use those I'm going to come down the side here and then I made a little block out of a scrap little piece of 1x4 I had cut a uh, styrene piece for the top slab that I'll rough up a little bit and paint concrete and then I'll put some brick paper around it the same brick paper as this to match the house so these are the the pieces parts here that we're going to use to make that little front step and then probably once I get a fit in the scenery there it'll fit like that then we'll have a railing on it here I'm not sure what we use for railing yet and then probably have a walkway it'll come down here and over the driveway and then the hill you know comes up here has some shrubbery here and whatnot so all right so I'm gonna work on this try to get this completed ready to go I have some of the uh, interior pieces in there so they're uh, pretty much dried up now so I can always just do a little bit of interior detailing and, uh, and we'll see what's next Hopefully, got some uh, some more LED lights come today so we can take the rest of the lights in there and get this thing moved along so all right so uh, back to working here on our front porch Okay, got a little bit done here. Got all the trim on, got all the windows in. Got the front door. I'm working on the porch right now. It's kind of 
uh, drying up, but primary a little bit. And then for the inside here, so we can go up and get a, get a good view inside here. Again, I just kind of real quick did some uh, interior stuff, nothing real fancy. Just kind of slap some paint on the walls and put some things in. Look like there's some kind of conversation going on there between mom and daughter. Let's not get in the middle of that. Uh, and then just some real simple stuff, only because you're not really going to be able to see it too well. Um, but something, again, it's going to be hard to tell now until I get the roof on and the lights in and everything. But uh, we'll see. And I got this, uh, got some LEDs from Evans Design today. This is a four on one. I like that. Might put a light in this room, two here in the living room, and one in the kitchen. Uh, the the end here is that light's now mounted and you see for the garage I also went ahead and uh, printed off one of the garage doors that I found online brought it into the model builder software I was able then you know using the scale of the software to, to size it to the right size that's all looked a little, little bit better and uh Probably even harder to tell, but on the side there, I don't know if you can see those little white, uh, <laughs> little white boxes. Those are the uh, little controls for the doors. You can, uh, we have them on our door here at, at our home. You flip it up, you put in a four-digit code, and the garage door opens. So each garage door has got one of those little uh, code boxes on it. Like I said, the windows are in. Shutters are not on yet. They're um, I initially had them painted white. I want to go back and paint them black, so they're drying right now. So, but those are uh, back, and again, you'll be able to see somewhat into the kitchen there. So just to give it, you know, just to give it the, they don't really need super super detail, unless of course you're doing a contest quality model, trying to really impress people. Um, you just want the sense that there's something inside the house. You just you look in there and you just get a sense of it. I mean, all I did was put some um, some prizer table and chairs, a roll-up desk I didn't even paint, and um, a hutch since it is a kitchen. I had to put a hutch in there too. So, like I said, in the living room, not even paint a lot of that furniture. Just kind of took some hobby tack and put it in. All right, so. For now, I'm going to work on getting the lights installed. I also have one little light here for the front door to hang down and see how it goes. I did get um, one of their welding kits, or welding kits, the really light sets. It's a blue and two whites, and the white flashes, and it looks okay. I put it in the, the downstairs, because that's where the TV is because there's no room anywhere else. Uh, I had it in there, and it, it does flash. and But to me, it looks too, I want to say too regular, too perfect. You know, when I see a TV flash, and it's not just the continuous, it's the same over and over. It's not like that. It's It'll flash and get real bright, then it be dark for a little bit, then real bright. So you almost need some way to, same concept, hook up three LEDs, but have it a little bit, a little bit more random where they're not um, going the same pattern over and over and over, which is what these do. They're nice, don't get, don't get me wrong. Uh, you know, for welding, even for welding, though, it probably should be a little more random. But, all right, anyway. So I don't know if I'm going to put something down in here uh, to be flashing as a TV, but uh, we shall see. All right, so let's get, uh, get some of the stuff working, get these lights in secure, and get ready to put the roof on. Okay. Going to stop here for the evening. I have the interior lights all in and some light blocks in just to keep the light in the rooms. So what we have here is we have this lead is for the garage light that's in the garage. This lead here is for the porch light. This lead here is that uh, four banger that has a light in this bedroom two lights in the living room and a light in the kitchen 
and this one is the spotlight here in the garage and I tested them they all work so now it's just a matter of obviously getting them all hooked together to one set of wires to to bring down to the hookup so gonna stop there get a little bit late I don't want to push things so pretty much first thing tomorrow we'll get all the wires hooked together soldered up to one lead well two leads a positive and a negative to drop down um, oh I have the right here the front porch and the steps primer it up let them sit overnight and then get um, we'll get this painted concrete the brick around it get that painted concrete and then figure out what I'm gonna do here in the front if I want to put another base you know for a sidewalk that they can mount the porch and the steps on you need to come up with some kind of railings for the steps and then bring it out here and then you know be able to match it into the driveway that that will do over on the layout so overall moving along pretty nicely hopefully it's uh, interesting to follow along you don't mind my long-windedness but uh, this is fun I could I could do this pretty much as a hobby I really do enjoy this but luckily I'm not gonna have a whole lot of structures on this layout only gonna be a few houses and some buildings there in Lake City and then the transformer factory which will be a whole other undertaking on its own but uh, we're getting there all right so this one may be done tomorrow and uh, then we'll get it sitting on the layout at least temporarily won't have all the, the yard in and everything yet but uh, we'll get this in all right so uh, more to come okie dokie got uh, all the lights wired up and soldered in to two main leads I look you know come down through the layout uh, everything works have all the lights on I don't know how well it'll show if I just turn that off I find it's a little bit darker, but you can see, so you got you know, the porch light, two lights in the living room, a light back in the kitchen, the spotlight on the garage, and a light in the garage. So they're all in. We can zoom in here. And... <laughs> yeah, like I say, you can, you can see, but you, again... You don't have to go crazy on the interior unless you're going to be right in the front of the layout or take the roof off or you're making a, you know, a contest model. You just want the impression that there's something going on. So let me just pop the lights back on. So that's all good to go. Now the issue is, of course, at some point in time you have to do this and now i got to deal with the damn wires. Which is really annoying, but if you're going to put interior lights in a kit... At some point, you got to get things soldered up and ready to go, and I'm at that point because the next thing I do, now that they're soldered and tested, is get the roof on, and there's no going back after that. Well, I guess there's always going back, but, yeah, you know, um, without major surgery. So, <clears throat> got that done. I am going to consider, saw some comments on the first video, and I think they're right. You notice I don't have windows here. Um... I probably should have, again, this is a mistake I made, I should have cut out openings for windows uh, before I got all this this far along, and now I don't want to do it. I don't feel like drilling through. Now, you could drill the four corners and cut it, and I just, I'm not doing it. I don't feel like doing it. So what I might do is either, A, leave it like that, or I did print off some other windows. Now, they're just the, the you know, the paper and photos of windows, but... I'll have to see um, how it looks. It might be okay. Uh, again, you know, it's going to look different when you're this close, but when you start going, woo, you know, back at layout distances, it might look like windows and it might be fine. So I got a couple things to look at there and try. And then, you know, basically just get them put on down here. Because I think there probably would be windows in the garage there. I think the comments are correct. Just a matter of do I think it looks okay? Or, I'm not saying there, no, there aren't any houses that don't have windows there. Um, I'm sure there are. I mean, looking at uh, Google images of Ray's Ranches, and man, there's a huge variety of homes out there. You know, I'm, I'm talking windows here, not windows here. Although most of them do have windows there on the, on the garage. Some with shutters, some without shutters. All kinds of different windows and doors. It's kind of cool. So I wouldn't say it's wrong. 
Um, but I think it would look a little bit better with windows there. So, all right, starting to babble. Need some more coffee. And uh, we'll be back when we get the uh, things moving along here. Okay, there's the windows. <laughs> I think it looks, it'll be okay. Um, especially when you're at layout viewing distances. And especially what I'm going to do is probably put some, you know, along the uh, the walk in here, put some bushes and, you know, hedges and whatever. And it's going to come out to be a walkway here. So I should be able to blend it in. The, the problem is when you try to find windows, you've got to have something that prints with a black in between the panes because otherwise, you know, a lot of them are white, just, just the way it looks or, you know, different colors and stuff. It looks kind of goofy because obviously you're trying to represent a window and behind it it's dark. Although, another mistake is I do have a light in the garage, so really there should be some light shining through those. Eh, whatever. I'll say they hung a black curtain up because they were making model railroad videos. I don't know. So, again, I think that'll be acceptable. Again, if you get in really, really close, you can tell that they're, you know, they're not the, not the greatest. They don't match those windows. I really should have done it. Like I said, mistake. Should have cut them out and put real windows in, but uh, you do what you can. But you get back at the distance where you're going to view it on the layout, which will be, I mean, heck, even further than this. I mean, you're going to be pretty, you know, pretty darn far away when you're actually looking at the building. So I think um, it's passable. And I do think it looks better with windows there. So, okay. So we're going to uh, get ready to get the roof on and uh, do shingles and all that kind of fun stuff. All right. Another thing just occurred to me. Looking at some pictures of these houses. And you see there's the roof panel sitting on. A lot of times there's a chimney at the end. And that the kit does include a little, you know, the typical little chimney, which would just either notch out and fit in here, or, you know, cut it out or, or sand it to fit the roof, which is fine. But a lot of the ones I've seen have had chimneys on the outside. And I think that'd be kind of interesting to add. Um, no, I don't know the dimensions of it. I found this piece of wood in my collection of goodies it scales out to be about oh it's just over two and a half feet by about five and a half feet now is that the size of a chimney i have no idea i mean i think visually it would probably look acceptable and if i use something like this i could you know do that notch out the roof right now and then add the brick paper to it and it would match you know the brick on the front of the house so Something to think about. Um, I'd like to do something like that. So again, another thing, and and of course, it also means I need to get some electrical, you know, incoming electrical power, or, you know, the boxes for for uh, the electrical hookup to the house, and that kind of stuff's got to be there because you need power to the house, right? So all right, just a couple other thoughts as I ramble along here and get ready to get this roof on. Okay, we're back, and I'm going to stop here uh, for part two, and actually make a part three, just because yeah, these are a lot longer than I thought. Um, so what I, what I did here, the chimney is constructed. It's uh, it's not in yet, I'm just kind of sitting here for some photographs. And the front porch is, is pretty much set and it's not in yet it's just kind of sitting there as our uh, father and his son there checking things out some weirdo with a video camera filming their house and the stairs and i didn't do anything on the on the roof just yet so for the let me get some light over here on the chimney again it's just sitting there right now I looked at some, again, some more, some pictures on the internet. A little top hat there. That's what I'm going to do for the top. And then, again, it's just sitting there right now. I need to work on that a little bit. So that piece of, of wood that I cut down, got the brick paper put around it. It's not perfect back in here. I painted it a little bit. I think it'll look fine. 
Now I did come in and try to sand and notch things out for the chimney to fit in there so it fits nice and snug against the house. It's in the house! Uh, so that's going to sit like that. Might need to do a little bit more work. But but again, again, once you get back at normal layout viewing distances, I'm not really sure that you're going to see a whole lot. Uh, popped it on top. So, all right. So like I said, it's pretty much ready for the roof now to be glued on now that I figured out what I'm doing with the chimney. So I'll probably get that, uh, get, you know, I'm going to keep working, get that done. I'll figure out what I'm going to do there with, with the front porch and steps. I still need to get a railing of some variety for the, for the front steps. Something's got to be in there to allow you to not fall and have a lawsuit. Hurt the car, called William and the tar. So some type of railing here. Uh, and then probably down the steps as well. So i got to figure out what I'm going to do with that. And you can be the judge of those windows. Look okay. I think it looks okay. Again, I think when you're at normal viewing distances that you're going to be at, when it's on the layout, it's going to be tough to tell that they're, that they're photographs. Okay, so we're going to stop here. This will be the end of part two. And look for part three in a day or two. Hopefully get this thing done before I have to go back to the job. So I'm going to keep working away at it.